It's incredible. It's uh, it's been a race of my my dreams since uh, I started cycling and started following cycling. And uh, I've I've always loved uh, had a special love for the for the spring classics and uh, and the combination of it all. For for me, was always the the difficulty of, of Flanders with the climbs and the cobbles and and the distance. And yeah, for me, it's just the most beautiful race of all. And and to uh, to be the the second Dane uh, ever to win it is uh, is incredible. Uh, Rolf Sørensen, who who won it uh, before me, uh, he called me earlier in the in the week and and gave me uh, a few advice and and said that he believes that uh, Sunday I could uh, could pull off uh, the big win and uh, obviously that uh, gives you great uh, confidence when uh, when the former winner uh, calls you and and says that. Well, I was uh, I was uh, lucky uh, with my crash. Uh, I managed to to stop uh, when the guys in front of me crashed. Uh, unfortunately, uh, then I was uh, hit from uh, behind, and uh, that's why I I ended up going uh, going down. Uh, but uh, uh, it was a bit of a, a bit softer landing than if I had uh, just uh, went uh, straight down on the on the asphalt. So uh, if it had to happen, I think uh, it. Uh, it, it it happened in the best possible way, and and uh, Tom Steels came uh, really quickly with a uh, with a new bike, and uh, and I uh, could uh, get moving again. And uh, yeah, I think the key moment of the race was when uh, on the on the time back when uh, the group with me and uh, and Julian uh, went away. Um, we could uh, we could play a little bit after that, and. Uh, Julian first followed an attack and then I counterattacked uh, over the Houton um, and, uh, and 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 took off with uh, with Mathieu and and Wout and um, yeah I think the whole team rode a, a perfect race today and I'm uh, I'm really happy to to take that uh, or to finish it off like this and and take the win. At the, just before the one kilometer to go sign, uh, Mathieu, uh, I, 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 Mathieu passed me and uh, to take a pull, and then uh, at the same time, um, Tom uh, said in, in the radio that we had uh, 35 seconds to the second group, and then I knew we had a bit of a gap to to play with, uh, and I could afford uh, that the t uh, that the speed went down a bit. So I decided to stay in uh, Mathieu's wheel. Uh, so I had full control over when when uh, we started the sprint. And uh, yeah, then like Tim said, I knew I had to do a, a, a long sprint because that's really my strength that I can keep, that I can keep that really high power for a long time. I don't have the same kick as him, but uh, I have the sustained power. So, <clears throat> Uh, I think that's also what we saw in the sprint that uh, after 100, 150 meters or so, I, I, I still kept accelerating and uh, I was uh, speeding up compared to him uh, and yeah, then he set up. I was so happy that it, uh, it worked out. Uh, it's been uh, a goal or the goal uh, for the spring uh, and it's what I've worked over, worked for over the winter with the coaches uh, in the team, and uh, uh, I think my shape has been perfectly timed. So, so huge thanks to our uh, performance staff, uh, Kuhn Pellegrim uh, especially, and um, yeah, it's it was just perfectly timed, and and uh, I felt good in the last weeks. So I was confident going into the race, and and all these months of hard work <clears throat> it really just culminates in the in the last uh, 10 meters of the race and yeah you just it worked out that's what that's what went through my head when i passed the line it worked out today uh on this day it's it's three years ago exactly that i did my first race for the team and uh yeah every single day i i felt this uh, wolf pack uh, mentality uh, the Wolfpack spirit uh, from the first day I joined the team 
and uh, uh, to have progressed like this is is really uh, incredible and 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 I can uh, definitely I, I owe a lot of that to to my team uh, teammates and and also the the staff uh, they're um, incredible at, at helping uh, young riders develop and, and teaching young riders uh, to become uh, to become winners and uh, yeah the whole team uh, today rode uh, incredibly we, we covered we covered all the moves and uh, uh, Tim and uh, Ballerini and and Bad they did an incredible first uh, 150k of the race where they put, always kept us in the position and uh, they controlled the breakaway and yeah they did they did everything and uh, yeah huge huge thanks for for all that help I uh, I really couldn't have done it with without the help of uh, of those guys and and also of the of the whole team. Yeah, I I I I remember that that first race very uh very clearly. Uh I remember in the in the meeting before the race, I uh, I noticed that uh, there was no assignments or no uh points where I had to be there after the feed zone. Uh obviously the directors, the riders, nobody knew me. I was that at that point three days in the team and it was a very quick decision to bring me in um, so they had no idea what I could do uh, in the end I was there closing gaps uh, uh, until three k's to go and uh, we won with uh, Fabio a beautiful victory in uh, scale the price and uh, when I came into the bus everybody was uh so excited and so happy with the the work i did and uh yeah i felt like uh, i also won that race <laughs> uh because of the way i i entered the team and uh, i often think back to that julian i uh, thank you so much for uh for all your help today it was uh, a pleasure playing uh playing bicycle with you and uh I look forward to to seeing uh, you racing and uh, and hopefully winning uh, in the next uh, in the next weeks in uh, in the Ardennes. I'm uh, I'm sure with the with the legs you have and the legs you showed today that uh, there will be uh, a lot of incredible results.